Hello, stampers. Tonight, I am not stamping. Uh, I may stamp at the very end to put a little design across it, but we're going to make a wreath. I saw a wreath done by Rosemarie Gonzalez, and she used the Candy Cane Lane Designer Series paper for hers. I'm going to make a little different wreath. And I am going to use the Presents and Pine Cones Designer Series paper. And what I did, I cut half, I was going to call it half the deck, I'm thinking of cards. I cut half of the Designer Series paper pack into one and a half by 12. And I clipped the ends with my triple punch. So you can see both ends are done. Double sided DSP, beautiful paper. I am going to take a styrofoam wreath, and this wreath measures 12 inches. I've got my hot glue gun going, and it's ready. I should have a sheet under this. There we go. So it doesn't burn through anything. I think it'll be fine. So what we're going to do is we were going to wrap this beautiful DSP and not that way. The bells have to go the right way. I'm just going to wrap it around. I want to secure it with hot glue right about there. So a bit of hot glue. I'm going to turn that down. I have it on the highest to melt it. One down. I'm going to take the, one of the next group of colors. I'm not measuring. I'm just adding. I'm going to overlap it just a little. Looks good there. Hot glue on the paper. And stick it. So I'm going to keep going. The tree, if it's on the outside, it has to go in the right direction. It is not hard. Just a little messy and time consuming. For the last part of the wreath, 
I have a whisper white piece cut at five and a quarter by two and three quarters. I have an emerald envy piece cut at five and a half by three and a half. And I have two scraps left over. They're one and a half and they can be by any length that you want. I'm going to be using the Wonderful Year stamp set. I'm going to be using It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year. We're going to emboss that in this gorgeous Emerald Envy glitter. Love it. Now normally I keep my, my glitters and my embossing powder in um, a little plastic container and I sprinkle it from there. Today I'm just going to use it straight up. We're going to use Versamark. And we're going to cut with the Big Shot layering ovals. So you notice, this is just a little tip. I buy um, great, great covers, magnetic great covers, and I cut them to size. And then I put them in my, the original folder. I also put how many pieces I have, so I will always be sure. It's not so much that I would lose this size, is that I, I lose the smaller size. So this is great for that. I'll put that on another tip. Okay, so we're gonna start off by inking up. Messy. I'm gonna bring my Versamark to the stamp. Oh, one thing I forgot. Always use your embossing buddy. A little bit of glitter. Always use your embossing buddy. So I bring my Versamark, it's a large stamp, to my stamp. We're going to be cutting this, die cutting this. So we're going to sprinkle. Generous amount. Love it. So now we're going to take our big shot. So whenever I get new plates for my big shot, I put my old plate on the bottom. This happens to be fairly new as well. So that's the plate that I cut on. Now I also rotate it. And when I get my new one, I put top. Now I will rotate this, but I just like to... And then when... When this gets tattered and ready to go, this will be the bottom. And of course, I take off the sticker. Okay. I say okay a lot. So what I want to do with this is I just want to cut a piece of it. So I am going to slide that here. It's only going to cut just the, this part. You'll see, I put it through. Turned around. Same thing. I'm only cutting a piece of it. Right there. It shows you how versatile the die cuts are. So just put it into there. Just put it in until you get the cut because you don't want it going over the other side. There's this. Isn't that lovely? So I'm going to do the same thing my Emerald Envy. It's going to go on this. I would cut that down a little bit more. I'm going to have to. So I'm going to slice a little bit off of that. There we go. Good enough. I'm going to take the end off of this. how much I want to take off there. Let's 
Again, don't go all the way through, but just take a nap off. There it is. So for the back, I'm going to have this on the bottom. I'm going to use my triple punch. I'm going to do two ends. This is going to be the top. This is one of my leftovers. Be here and then it's a wonderful year is going to go on there I'm going to use fast fuse for this part I'm going to snap right snap left it's the most wonderful time of the year I am going to fast fuse these two together I love the stripe on top of the stars. But then I'm going to use these because I love them, the foam adhesive strips. I'm going to put them here. Easy. Peel off. Put this on here. I'm also going to use this wonderful baker's twine. It comes in a trio pack. There's cherry cobbler, garden green, and this beautiful gold. So what I like to do when I'm having classes is just to keep it in a little bag, seal it at one end, and then I can just pull from here. It works perfect. There we go. I do keep ribbon scissors separate from the other ones. So I, I will tie a piece of ribbon on my ribbon scissors and have my customers only use those for ribbons and use the other paper snips for paper. So I'm going to tie a double bow. Didn't come out as good this time. But I'm going to show you the finished product and how lovely it looks on the wreath. Can you see it all? There we go. There we go. At the top, I took a little piece of the silky taffeta ribbon. This is 3 8 of an inch. It comes also in a combo. It comes this color, and um, this is an Emerald Envy and Cherry Cobbler. So isn't that lovely? There's the double. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember, follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, my blog. You can find me everywhere. Caroline Patterson, Hazel and Gunny, Fabric Paper Scissors. I would love to be your demonstrator. If you don't have one, find me. We'll talk to you soon.